differences between the sciences and the humanities. Striking difference. Uh, in the sciences, you just can't be rational. Because if you are, you're refuted at once and nobody cares about you anymore. But in the humanities, you can be as irrational as you like because the disciplines are insulated and they don't really have strong empirical evidence bearing on them. Uh, you can go on for craziness forever, and it happens all the time. Uh, it's sort of typical as another fact about intellectual history, if you like. I mean, it's not that scientists have better genes or anything. It's just that nature is, you know, tough, doesn't let you get away with nonsense. Uh, well, and and this, if, if you try you know, faking an experiment or you know making up a priori theory, uh, people will refute it, and then you're finished. You know. uh, furthermore, in the sciences, you can't keep doing the same thing over and over for the rest of your life. Uh, your students will start asking questions, and they'll say, "Why don't you do this?" And pretty soon they'll be off learning new things, and you'll be out of the business. In the humanities, that's not true, uh, and uh, these these are really big differences. Actually, it's very striking, personally, to me, where I live. I live right, well, a lot of you have been around, you know what it's like. There are two major universities, maybe the two world's major universities within you know, a mile. One of them is Harvard, which is humanities-based. I mean, it has sciences, but, you know, the spirit of the place is determined by the humanities. The, the oligarchy that runs it comes from the humanities and so on. The other is MIT, which is a science university. I mean, it has some humanities, but they're kind of, you know, around the periphery. Uh, and the difference, the difference of intellectual character between the two places is just astonishing. I mean, I've been there for 40 years, going up and back between them, and it's like two totally different worlds you know, in every area. That's why linguistics is at MIT, not at Harvard. Uh, and it's, in fact, if you look around the world, it's mostly developed in places where there are no strong humanistic traditions. It hasn't developed in the major universities that have humanities programs. Uh, that's true in the United States, it's true in Europe, it's true in Japan, and it reflects something very straight, very obvious. Uh, in the humanities, disciplines are insulated, they don't want to change, they don't want to hear, they want students to come along with challenging questions, uh, they want to keep repeating the same thing forever. Uh, there's a lot of personal power involved that you can get away with, you're never going to be refuted. Uh, you can tell lies about the French Revolution forever, and you'll never be refuted. Uh, and the effect is that when new things come along, they're welcomed in the sciences. People want them. You know, you want things to be shaken up, because you want to learn something new. But in the humanities, it's frightening, uh, and therefore they're sort of pushed aside. I don't want to say this is 100 percent, but there, this, the tendencies are very striking. Uh, well. Uh,